As president of the Technical College of the Low Country, I welcome you to this virtual celebration of the class of 2020 associate degree in nursing. I want to extend my congratulations to the graduates, friends, and families who are watching this video. Graduates, you have not only earned your registered nursing credentials in this rigorous program, but you have done so under extraordinary circumstances. You have my deep admiration for your hard work and the many sacrifices you have made to achieve this goal. I want to share with you just a bit of advice. An individual once said that champions aren't made in the gym. Champions are made from something they have deeper inside of them. A desire, a dream, a vision. They have to have <clears throat> last minute stamina. They have to be a little faster. They have to have the skill and the will. But the will must be stronger than the skill. That advice comes from boxing champion Muhammad Ali. To the students whose academic accomplishments we are celebrating today, I would simply say that you have acquired the skills you need to be competitive in this highly skilled, high demand field. Now, in your career, you must have the will. So on behalf of the faculty and staff of the Technical College of the Low Country, I offer you my warmest congratulations we are so very proud of you. Congratulations. Hello, nursing students. This is Dr. Glenn Levicki, Dean of Health Sciences. I just want to take a moment to congratulate you on your accomplishment. What you've done is unbelievable, especially with the obstacles that you had to face, go over, go around, break through because of the pandemic. The college and I am very sorry for those things that you had to work around, but we didn't have any options, as you know. But I do want to take this moment again to congratulate you on finishing the program. And I wish you all the best. The instructors here are fantastic. They give you the best foundation possible to be a good nurse, to be a good LPN. So go out there. Take what you've learned, grow from it, take great care of those who need you and who are ill, and I wish you all the best. Again, congratulations, and go for it when you get there. Thank you. 2020, the year of the nurse. What a year this has been. From natural disasters to a raging pandemic, this year has brought about many changes and challenges to the profession. You have trained for this. You are well prepared. You are ready. As you begin your nursing journey, always remember why you chose to become a nurse and always keep the patient at the center of your care. I would like to share the history of the pinning ceremony with you and how Florence Nightingale came to be known as the Lady with the Lamp. Although the origins of nursing predate the mid-19th century, the history of professional nursing traditionally begins with Florence Nightingale. Nightingale, the well-educated daughter of wealthy British parents, defied social conventions and decided to become a nurse. The nursing of strangers, either in hospitals or in their homes, was not then seen as a respectable career. Those who wished to practice nursing were expected to do so only for sick family and intimate friends. In a radical departure from these views, Nightingale believed that the well-educated, using scientific principles and informed education about healthy lifestyles, could dramatically improve the care of sick patients. In March 1854, the Crimean War began when Britain and France declared war on Russia after Russia invaded autonomous areas of the Turkish Ottoman Empire. Much of the fighting occurred in the Crimea, a peninsula on the north shore of the Black Sea located in modern Ukraine, formerly known as the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. During the Crimean War, 
Many soldiers were forced to leave the battlefield wounded, some with life-threatening injuries, and others clinging to their lives. When Florence Nightingale heard of the soldiers' dismal fate, she traveled to Turkey and answered the call to nurse these wounded and dying soldiers. Ms. Nightingale spent countless hours walking the wards, caring for the battle-worn soldiers. She often worked well into the night and carried with her an oil lamp. Night after night, lamp in hand, she roamed the wards, doing what she believed to be God's work. Nightingale revolutionized nursing through her attention to healing and wellness and through her devotion to the sick and injured. Her endless hours of compassionate care and a necessary action as small as carrying a lamp earned her the name Lady with the Lamp. The lamp has since become an iconic symbol of nursing. The nursing pinning ceremony is a time-honored tradition. Historians can actually trace the tradition back to the Crusades of the 12th century, when a group of knights tended to and cared for the injured and suffering crusaders. When new monks were brought into the knight's order, they decided to continue helping sick soldiers and held a ceremony where each monk was given a Maltese cross that they wore on their arm. Fast forward to the 1860s when Florence Nightingale was honored with the Red Cross of St. George for her selfless efforts to injured men during the Crimean War. Because she believed in acknowledging a job well done, she presented a Medal of Excellence to her hardest working nursing graduates. By 1916, it became standard in the United States to no longer award only a few nurses with a Medal of Excellence, but instead all nursing graduates with a pin during a special ceremony. The pinning of nursing graduates by nursing faculty is a symbolic gesture welcoming the graduates into the profession. During this pinning ceremony, we light the lamp that it may shine brightly in representation of nursing care, compassion, and devotion. As we do so, we pass the tradition on to our future nurses who will provide care, compassion, and devotion to their patients. Graduates, you are the light of nursing's future. May your light always shine brightly. In the full knowledge of the responsibilities I am undertaking, I promise to care for my patients with all the knowledge, skills, and understanding I possess, without regard to race, color, creed, politics, or social status, sparing no effort to conserve meaningful life, to alleviate suffering, and to promote health. I will respect at all times the dignity and religious beliefs of the patients under my care and hold in professional confidence all personal information entrusted to me. I will refrain from any action which might endanger the quality of life or health. I will endeavor to keep my professional knowledge and skill at the highest level and to give my support and cooperation to all members of the health team. With full awareness of my qualifications and limitations, I will do my utmost to maximize the potential of the nursing profession and to uphold and advance its standards.
It is with great honor that I present to our class on such a memorable day. We all wish we could be together today in person, but we will persevere. We will celebrate our success despite the challenges we face during this global pandemic. Each and every one of us has worked hard with professionalism and commitment to reach this day. Our determination to make the best of a situation utilizing virtual learning platforms demonstrates adaptability and flexibility, which is greatly needed at this time of 2020, as the global pandemic is not faint for the heart. The nurses of today that we join are courageous. We should feel empowered stepping into healthcare that needs us more than ever. Patients are presenting with more complex problems and our amazing group will be meeting these challenges head on giving the safest, most excellent care that they deserve. Looking at the bright side and positive things, I think that there is no better time to complete nursing school than during the year of the nurse. This is our time to excel, lead, and innovate. And we will, without a doubt, fulfill these goals and exceed expectations. Florence Nightingale said, nurses have a unique perspective of understanding of how precious life is. And this perspective is a gift. Always remember, that you are making a difference every single day in someone's life, no matter how big or how small. You will give your patients the ability to live their lives to the fullest and be their light during their darkness. You will be their hope, their guide, and you will be there to comfort them when they have pain and sorrow. This, is, this comes with great privilege. Always believe in yourself and your ability to make an impact to create change each and every one of us will make a difference and will do great things.